Hey guys, this is Zach here, and this time we're looking at the Yokai Watch, Yokai Medallion Collection book pages. Uh, this is, I guess, for Series 1, as you can see there. And it has three metal pages, three character pages, and a sticker sheet, and a beetle medal. So let's get this open and check it out. And really quick, just to show off everything before I tear this apart, there's the top, tells you to add the pages to the medallion. I don't know why it has this little picture in there, because you can't put the legend page like that because it won't close if you have all those medals in there uh, but on the back tells you how to use summon discover collect all that stuff store your collection uh fill add yokai watch medallion collection books fill them with your yokai watch blah 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 and i just love this picture of nate and jubayan and whisper just playing with the yokai watch medals that's just really cute to me for some reason okay so inside as always, you get your really important instruction sheet for the medals. Don't need that. Uh, you get your giant cardboard thing to hold your beat ball medal, which we'll look at in a second. You get three more binder pages here. With the same little reminder card and how to use them. You get another sheet of shakers. Shakers? Stickers. And then uh, this is a different sticker sheet than what comes in the book. And then you get these three collection pages. Uh, two of these are front and back the different yokai in series one and one of them is blank so you could write your own little thing for them i guess so let's look at the beat all metal up close and here is beat all he is one of my favorite yokai so i love this metal especially that it's foily it looks awesome so let's hear it in the watch Okay, so basically how these pages work is a little weird. Uh, there's no instructions in the thing to tell you how to actually set it up, so I'm going to try and explain it to you. Uh, basically, each one of these pages, like I said, is double-sided. So basically, each one of your metal pages, there's going to be one on the front that's going to go in front of the, you know, each little description here, like beetle goes in front of beetle. And then you're also going to have one behind it that's going to kind of sandwich that middle page. So you can see Steppa lines up with Steppa right there. So basically each black page is going to be sandwiched between two middle pages. So seeing as you have two of the black pages in this package and there's only three metal pages, you're going to need the extra pages in the medallion to actually make this work. So let's see how we put it in the book. Okay, so we're going to open this up and turn to the second page here. It's going to get caught in everything for my little setup. Uh, let's open this up, and we're going to put that second page right here, just like that. And I'm going to close these up so I can turn the page without it going everywhere, like that. And let's put this other page in there. So here's the one with Steffa. Here is the actual page, and the page with Beetle, and let's close that up. Okay, so I made some room so you guys can see here. So this is how it's going to be set up in the binder correctly. So you have the middle page on top of the description page here. So you can see when you have it closer over the top of it, the middle lines up with the little bio behind it. And if you turn the page and turn the next page, you can see the next page is going to line up with the back. So that second page, you have to put the metals in backwards so they'll line up with the next page. And then you do the same thing with the other one. Each black page is going to be sandwiched between two metal pages, just like that. So I'm going to fill this up with everything I have so far and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I got them all in there. So let's see. I'm missing so many. <laughs> I'm sure this is like the point of this product, but it just makes me want to fill these in so bad. And you can see they have a little bio straight from the Yokai Watch game on the back, which I love so much. 
So turn to the next page like that. You can see I'm missing so many. But you can see I got a couple filled in. Uh, the weird thing is the Whisper and Jibanyan ones, uh, I just kind of matched the picture, even though this is the one from the watch and this is the one from the Metal Moments figure, as you can see right there. So that's the OCD in me doesn't like that. And there's the rest. And that's where pretty much all of them went on this page right here. <laughs> and you can see I've got plenty of room for extra ones. I put that extra page back here that we don't need yet. And I actually just kind of realized you can totally use all these stickers to fill in these blank ones if you wanted to. Like use the little tribe thing to put it over here to put your extra ones in if you wanted to. But in the back here, I just kind of have the stickers sitting with the Legend Metals right now. And I just put all my extras back here, including my one Japanese one that I can't find the other one for. And just to show that the Japanese ones fit in here just as well too. So that's it for the Metal Collection Pages review. Uh, if you already have the book, you have to pick this up too. You need to get the exclusive metal with it. Uh, it's pretty cheap. You get the extra pages you need. It's totally worth it. And I think it looks so awesome to have all your metal displayed in this. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.